everyone, this is Ivan from BrainyBits.com. Uh, today we're going to show you how to connect the RGB LED to our Uno right here. Uh, RGB LEDs have four legs, uh, one for each color, and this one is a common anode LED. Uh, what that means is basically the common pin is connected to five volts. If it was a common cathode, then that same pin would be connected to ground. Uh, so we're, I already did the setup since uh, there's a little bit more components. I didn't want to waste too much time showing you uh, how to connect these things. So basically I'm just going to go through the connections right now. Uh, like I said, uh, the common pin most of the time has a longer leg on the LED, so it's pretty easy to, uh, to see which one it is. On this one, it's the second one right here. So this one is connected to our 5 volt on our Uno. And the rest of the pin, red, green, blue, are connected to PWM's pins on our Uno. So basically my red is connected to number three, my green right here is connected to number five, and my blue is connected to number six. And we're going through resistors because an LED we want to limit the amount of current that it's going to draw. Uh, so all these resistors that are, on the, that are on this board are 330 ohms. Now as you can see I'm going from my Uno to one leg of the resistor, and the resistor goes then to the pin on the LED. So basically that's all the connections we need to make right now. Uh, we're going to go and look at the code, and basically the code, what it's going to do, it's going to go from red, and then it's going to fade in green, and then it's going to fade in blue, and then it loops back. So we'll look at the code and come back and see what it does. See you soon. Okay, welcome back guys. Here's the code we're going to use for our little tutorial. Uh, first off, we're going to define our pins at the top. And we're defining the red pin is connected to number 3, green to number 5 on our Uno, and blue on number 6. Then we're going to define a uh, variable called delay time to 50, so fading time between each colors. We can change that to make it go faster or slower. Then we're going to do our setup. Uh, all our pin modes are output, so red, green, blue output. And since we're using um, a common anode uh, RGB LED, we're going to pull all these high. If we were using the um, common cathode, then it, we would pull them low, or we could just uh, comment that out. And here we're going to define some variables. So red value, green value, blue value that we're going to use in our code. And here's our main loop. Uh, so we're going to start by putting the red value to 255. That's going to make the um, uh, the red color basically at zero. And first of all, we're going to put uh, at the beginning we're going to put an analog write red zero to uh, put the RGB LED to the color red, and we're going to make it wait five seconds so we can see the red color before we start actually fading. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to use four loops. And basically the way it works is that it fades out the, bread, the red first, brings green full when i is equal to 255. So i starts at zero. As long as i is, uh, is uh, smaller than 255, we'll continue this loop. And at, at each loop, we're going to add one to i. So the red value is, uh, is going to be uh, minus one each time, green value plus one each time it loops, and then uh, we're going to do analog red 255 minus the red value and a green 255 minus the green value and the delay time that we have here at the top. So basically the way this works is that we're going to be using a for loop to uh, loop through one from one to 255 and every time it loops the red value which we um, put at the top there at 255 is going to be decreased by one and the green value is going to be increased by one so here you can see analog right red uh, comma 255 minus the red value so at the start the red, va the red value is 255 so 255 minus 255 equals zero which is full on and the next line analog right green 255 minus the green value and if you look at the green value it's equal zero so 255 minus zero will put the green value at the uh, off and then we have the delay time of 50 millisecond and then we loop back so i is increase so i is equal to one now 
and uh, it's still smaller than 255. And then uh, our red value, same thing, will decrease by one. So 255 minus, uh, minus one is 254 now. And green value plus one, green value was zero before, now it will be one. So analog write red, 255 minus 254 will equal one. So slowly it will start to fade. And the green one will go from 255, which is off, to 254 so slowly that one will begin to go up so that's where we're going to see um, the fading happen and uh, basically that's all that does when it once it's reached uh, 255 then it will get out of that for loop and uh, go to the next one so the next one we say red value equals zero green value 255 and the blue value is zero so basically we're just changing it, uh, the code to fade out green now and bring out the blue and the code is exactly the same we're just changing the values here so the green value will be minus one each time blue value plus one and we're doing the same thing here except we're just changing the colors that we are using so this will fade from green to blue once it's reached that 255 will get out go to, go to the next one and we're changing the values here because now we're fading in the blue code is exactly the same and um, that's pretty much the way we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna do the, the fading from one color to another. As you can see, the code doesn't change, it's just the values, uh, the name of the colors that we are using. Once it reaches that, that's it, it's done. So um, we're gonna go ahead and compile that. And we get no errors here. And we're gonna upload the code to the Uno. And now we're gonna go ahead and look at uh, the results on our breadboard. So let's take a look at that. So we're back. I already uploaded the code that we were working on to the Uno and I've dimmed the lights so we can see the results a little bit better. So I'm gonna give power to uh, the Uno and we should see the results. There we go. And there, you, as you can see, we're starting with the color red. And slowly, we're gonna bring down the red, bring in the green. And we can see it's happening right now. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna bring down the green, bring up the blue. As you can see. And then we're gonna go back to red, and we're gonna keep looping like this. So there you are. Uh, that's one way to uh, use an RGB LED. Uh, basically, the code goes through all the different colors that we can have with this uh, setup. So once again, thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, as always, you can find the link in the description to our website where you'll find the code and a little bit more information on how to put this together. So if you want, you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, we put out tutorials every week, sometimes twice a week, even more. So I hope to catch you guys later. Thanks again for watching.